2023 was a year of uh, pure, unadulterated cinema. We had so many cinematic masterpieces, so many uh, critically lauded films come out, so many box office uh, success. I think now that the year is wrapping up, I should list the most iconic films of the year. They really waited until the last minute to fire this guy. So here we go. Here are the four greatest films of 2023. Number four, Planet of the Base. If you're saying, I've never heard of this film. Yes, you have. You've heard it plenty of times. You know how it goes. Now put your hands up in the air. If you know this fucking song, sing it with me. All of the dream. How does it mean? Rhythm is glad There is nothing to be sad Danger and dance Clapping the hands When we out in the space On the planet of the I'm not kidding when I say that this 50 second video was one of the best films of 2023. This video, this song is a moment, it's a vibe. It's a parody tune, but it literally became the song of the summer. TikTok ushered in the era of content under a minute long, and this video is an example of that style of content at its highest form. The song itself is super catchy, fun loving, and nostalgic, a great song to get through these crazy times. And speaking of crazy times, the performances in this video are immaculate. Long live DJ Crazy Times and Miss Biliana Electronica. What really sells this video for me is the editing. You got these match cuts that are matching the movements of the actors. It makes everything kinetic and smooth like butter. Check it out. Oh. Boom. Boom. Nice. I saw this video and I thought, man, this Kyle Gordon guy should really be on SNL. But then I thought, nah, Kyle Gordon is way too good for that shit. Keep doing you, Kyle. The third best film of 2023 was Revisiting Uncharted 4. This is a video by Video Game Donkey. The title is pretty self-explanatory. The video is just Donkey revisiting Uncharted 4 and re-reviewing it, basically. Pretty good review. It actually made me buy the game. Now, the reason why this video is at the number three spot is because at the very end, Donkey drops it on his audience that he's having a baby. And this, dear people, is without a doubt the biggest twist of 2023. And it's a happy twist. It's a dude in his early 30s who makes videos and puts them on the internet. That's what he does for a living. And he's able to have a home. He's able to have a family and not live in Los Angeles or New York City, but somewhere else in America. You fucking love to see it. The second greatest movie of 2023 has to be Oppenheimer. I'd put Oppenheimer in the number two spot just for the memes alone. But this film is a very important one and I'm glad that it came out at the time that it did. We're very close to nuclear war. It's something that I think about a lot. And I think this movie really shows the dangers of such a thing if it were to ever occur. This shit haunted Oppenheimer and it should haunt us as well. It's an amazing movie that everyone should see. I I'm sure I'll get around to watching it eventually as well. Huh? Yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh, relax. I can rate a movie I haven't seen. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get around to it, okay? It's three hours long. I didn't want to be snoring it up at the AMC. And now finally, for the best Film 2023, Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn, Elimination Chamber, Montreal. In a year when all the supermen and women went down the toilet, the world needed a hero to step up. Enter Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn was the performer of the year for me. Give this man the Emmy 
the Oscar, the Tony, and the fucking Pulitzer Prize. He was the guy to cheer for. He was our underdog. He started the year as everyone's favorite flunky, but then he became the babyface world beater going up against the unstoppable force. In case you haven't heard, wrestling is good nowadays. Oh, you didn't know? Well, your ass better call somebody! And that somebody is me. When wrestling is good, when the logic and psychology is sound, when the storylines make sense, and when the behavior and performances are believable, there's nothing like it. Especially when you see it live. The crowd reaction is what makes it come alive, and it's what makes it the awesome spectacle that it is. And boy was this match an awesome spectacle. It wasn't Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn. It truly was Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn and the entire entire city of Montreal. These motherfuckers from Quebec really made this match. And it makes sense because this match had everything. The match had a very clear baby face and heel. It had a couple of yay boo sections where the crowd got into it. For a good chunk of the match, Roman absolutely dominated Sammy, which he should have. Then you had the part where Sammy was on the up and up and he was valiantly fighting back. You had Sammy kissing his wife in the middle of it. You had Jey Uso's run in. And yeah, we all knew that Sammy wasn't going to win and he was going to get screwed out of being the WWE champion. But still, it was, it was an experience. The disappointment we all felt when Sammy lost was something that we expected. Unlike the main event of WrestleMania Night 2. Now that, that was fucking bullshit. But we can just forget about that. So yeah, those are the four greatest films of 2023. I hope 2024 uh, has better films that maybe I will see in theaters. Who knows? We'll see. Happy New Year, everyone.